As some possible respite for private property home buyers as prices decline by 0.4%, that is the first drop that we've seen in three years. Market watchers say that the drop is driven by muted economic growth and the effects of recent cooling measures. Claudia Lim tells us more. Singapore's red-hot private property market is now seeing signs of cooling for the first time in three years. This, according to figures released by the Urban Redevelopment Authority. Analysts say the moderation in prices were driven by mutant economic growth, two recent rounds of cooling measures and high interest rates. There might have been the projects that were launched one or two years ago, and some of the sellers may be more willing to um, take a discount, offer a discount to move those units. Growth in prices has also slowed for HDB flats, according to estimates released by the HDB for the second quarter of the year. Prices rose but at a slower rate, a 1.4% increase, compared to the 2.5% quarterly average last year. It's partly due to continued demand for four-room and five-room flats. There were more grants that were given uh, for first-timers uh, purchasing resale flats. So for private uh, property downgraders, uh, there were also more people buying four-room flats because uh, those who are buying uh, you know, four-room or smaller flats and they are above 55 years old, they'll be exempted from the 15-month wait-out period. In the coming months, analysts say that the demand for resale flats is likely to be diverted to the BTO market as the housing board launches new flats in Queenstown, Bedok and Bukit Merah. These spaces are usually more popular with uh, buyers and uh, the completion times for some of these projects may also be shorter uh, since construction has been stepped up. National Development Minister Desmond Lee says the ministry will continue to increase housing supply to meet demand. It includes the plan to launch 100,000 flats by 2025 and some 9,250 private housing units by the end of the year.